Hey, Captain Doug in Thailand. Hey, I built this Lazy Bee uh, RC airplane and I finally got it to fly. We had good flights this morning, several of them. Uh, worked out uh, several of the bugs in it. So I'm kind of quickly going to go through this. There, this again is Clancy Aviation's uh, Lazy Bee uh, wood construction. Really great airplane. There's Go on the internet, look on YouTube. You're going to find uh, people are putting out excellent uh, videos on the builds and stuff and doing the music and stuff. I don't have time nor the expertise to do that. So let me go over this. I just wanted to share the improvements that I did uh, to get it to fly good. Uh, and we'll kind of go over this one by one. So here's the airplane. Here's the fuselage of it. I used transparent uh, on the body of it. And the wing top is uh, in red. And then I did a white on the bottom. came out real nice. I'm in Thailand, so I don't have... Um, all the access to monocoats and so forth that a lot of people do. But anyway, on with these improvements is I had several crashes and stuff. It porpoised around. I'll have some video footage of that. I went ahead and put better linkages on the uh, servos and uh, stiffer uh, lines there or uh, rods. Here's that. For the rudder, the tail adjuster there in, in metal, same thing here for the elevator. Um, and what Clancy talks about also is to reduce your throws down to, at one point he says half inch either way, rudder and elevator. I went with three quarter. I, I got the longer wing, got as in I built it. This was all built from scratch. I'm in Thailand. I, I couldn't order the kit. You can order this kit form. I would suggest that. <laughs> it's uh, time-consuming. It's a sweet little airplane. I hadn't built out a stick uh, in years and years. So, And again, I have a hard time getting some of the stuff. A lot of it uses 4 millimeter square uh, rod, and I didn't. I, I cleared out the three shops I had of everything they had, and so some of it's built with 5 millimeter. And I had to adapt some other things. Anyway, really neat airplane. Uh, then I ended up putting a... Uh, NX3 to stabilize it. I had I was getting tired of crashing the thing and that helped a lot and then I did the weight and balance over and over again and put bullet weights in here. Uh, again, like I say, we just had our maiden flight this morning with some of the improvements and uh, got it balanced pretty good. I laid a bubble here on the tail uh, on the horizontal stabilizer and uh, check the CG uh, Clancy's plans give a location just in front of this bar on either side and, and so I've got it balanced pretty good so I flew it today and uh, though all those improvements which is of course a lot of stuff I flew it with the gyro on flew real stable did several takeoff and landings and then I flew uh, a couple takeoff and landings with the gyro off just to see the difference it flew excellent with the gyro off also uh, so much more stable. Got you know, I got slop. I had slop in the uh, uh, servo linkages and so forth, and I got rid of all that. And like I say, threw the, got the flows down, the throws down uh, to a minimum. And in my radio, I've got a fly sky. I got my uh, rate and expo down to. Uh, I think I ended up with forty and forty on both of them. I flew it with thirty. I got it on the ground without crashing it. But I, I was running out of uh, rudder and elevator authority and had to trim this again to neutral. I didn't explain that earlier because um, I was having a hard time getting it just so you can see its nose up a little bit. That's It's been bumped around in the car. So, uh, and took the slop out. So that helped a lot. So it flies, it's a sweet flyer. I'm on a little soccer field. And um, so I don't have a lot of extra room. And I've got... Uh, big lights on this lit field and I have hit those posts with other airplanes. I've got some other uh, RC stuff. And so I certainly was trying to avoid that with this and now that I've got it stable uh, I can slow it down and stay below the the height of the light posts and get my pattern work in with this and get some decent landings. It's got real beefy gear from the original plans with rubber bands on them it's working great you got to make sure you've got enough rubber bands there to really get a cushion uh, i've tore that all up several times in in my bad landings before i got it going anyway so captain doug let me uh, i'll throw some more videos together and some still photos that i had in, during my build 
Again, go on to uh, YouTube, look for, put up Lazy B. That's how I get inspired to build this airplane. Saw some really cool videos. And I've got a, I'm by the seaside in Thailand, Phuket. And so I've got a place I can do some cliff soaring and stuff when the wind's right. Uh, so I built a little bit bigger wing for that. Okay, take care. Enjoy it. Uh, subscribe, comment. Blue.